the Ron and Fez show on a Thursday. Standing by, we're going to talk to Phil Frazier. He is the producer for Madden 2005, which is released next week. Yes. Uh, Dubs, you said you might not even be in that day. Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm getting it on Monday, and I'm not coming in at all. It is uh, the obsession for uh, most guys. As a matter of fact, I want to do a, a, a tournament uh, a little later on this summer. Has try to figure out who is the best uh, Madden football player of all time. Kind of our own little Super Bowl. Nice. So I won't wear the crown. I won't play because honestly, I would win. And I'll tell you why. I beat the computer. And I don't care where it is. I beat the computer. Uh, we were talking earlier about uh, people uh, giving out their political views during rock concerts and people getting turned off. I went to see a political speech one time and the guy starts doing a song. Really? Yeah, I went, to, I went to see Bill O'Reilly, and the next thing I know, Fezzy, I turn around, the next thing I know, and Bill O'Reilly says, I'd like to, you know, do something for my first album. I turn to my chick, I go, first album? Yeah, I wouldn't is, know that he had any album. What is O'Reilly talking about? And, uh... Now, that might actually make me walk out. I'm not sure. It is the unexpected. Another ludicrous situation. Yeah, and I'm all you moves. Like that. Hell yeah. Hey, DJ, bring that back. I smack bitches with no. Just get a couple of girls and shake their thing. Yeah. Got the picture? Yeah. Hollow bullets. I pull it. I'm about to live in vain. And then I drill them, refill them, make sure they feel the pain. When I'm all you moves. Like that. Hell yeah. Hey, DJ, bring that back. My shotguns are cold and hard. And my triggers are always talking about themselves. Squeeze me, squeeze me. I smack bitches with no. Just get a couple of girls and shake their thing. Got the picture? When I move, you move. Just like that. When I move, you move. Just like that. I mean, he is off the hizzle, but I, what I'm trying to say is I expected to hear something foxy from him. Yeah, if I saw that show in Vegas, I'd throw my drink on his poster. Why? I don't know. I just like to throw drinks. All right, so you, uh... We got Phil Frazier coming up next, Fez, uh, the brand new Madden 2005. We're going to talk to him about that a little bit. And also, hopefully, also the Madden Jinx. Uh, Phil Frazier, welcome to the Ron and Fez show. How are you guys doing? Uh, it's all done. It's all complete and ready to go. It is indeed, and we should be out uh, shipping on Monday and most stores on Tuesday. Did you have time to delete Quincy Carter? Uh, Quincy Carter, unfortunately, is in the uh, the product you'll get on the shelves, but with the roster update that will be out, the baby launch will be gone. Is that right? Yeah, you so if, if you download the latest rosters online, he's definitely out of there. Now, uh, here's one of the things. I'm a huge, uh, and have been playing Madden uh, since the very beginning. How are you able to get down, like, the way everybody actually moves? Like, a lot of times I'll see Keyshawn, the way he gets tackled, is not like anybody else in the game. And it looks exactly like when Keyshawn goes down, all elbows and knees. How are you able to pull that off? It, it, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of hard work. We have, we have a pretty dedicated team in, in Florida. We watch a lot of game tapes throughout the year. We have, we have guys that are just so hardcore about football and so hardcore about stats and ratings and about what players do. Uh, you know, we work real hard to make sure we design stuff that's just accurate. You know, if it's in the game, it's in the game. And uh, we want to get all that stuff right. So, you know, it's a fun job. And, um, you know, we're glad people notice stuff like that. And is that the only stuff that that team does or they do other games or? Uh, the team I, foc I work with right now, we focus on Madden 100% of the time. So we work on the PlayStation 2 version, the Xbox version, GameCube version, Game Boy Advance, PC, you know, all the all the different Madden versions are out there. We focus on that 100%. How soon do you start working on 2006? As soon as 2005 is released? We're we're in the heat of 2006 as we speak. <laughs> we we don't we don't take much of a break. So as soon as the game comes out, we're uh or as soon as we wrap up 2005, we started on 2006 right away. All right, what new features do you have this year? Well, this year the big focus was defense and uh you know, one of the biggest features in defense was the hit stick where you get to use the right analog stick on your controller. Yeah. You can really level the guy with the ball. If you time it correctly, you flick the stick, you'll just knock him on his butt. And, uh, it's, you know, you get some real cool animations. You get an increased chance of a fumble. Uh, definitely a cool feature. We have lots of cool features around, in and around defense, like defensive hot routes, lots of movement on the defensive side of the ball, better defensive uh, DBAI. 
the game is smarter than it's ever been. Uh, some are saying it's the smartest football game ever made. So uh, defense is the number one feature this year. I mean, there's no game that comes close to this game, right? Uh, you know, we'd like to think so. We, we have some good competition out there, but it's you know, it's definitely the game that uh, the players play. It's the game that masses play, the masses play, and, you know, we love doing it. Now, do you ever hear back from players of, come on, you got to really make juice me up a little bit? Of course. I know I'm better than that. Of course, and speed's the one thing we kind of get from everybody. Uh -huh. Everybody thinks they should usually be two or three points faster. <laughs> I think we've only been one person that I can remember that's actually said that we've overrated them, and that was Emmett Smith, uh, you know, a couple years ago when he was actually probably, he was actually overrated in the game, and he was, you know, one of the best football players in a video game out there. But uh, everybody wants to be faster. You know, we, we talk to our cover boys every year. We get lots of feedback from players. You know, this year they actually called in, did some stuff for our franchise mode and, and the Tony Bruno show. And um, it's definitely cool to work with them and to hear their take on the game and get some plays out of them, get some audio. So uh, we definitely work with those quite a bit. All right. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the Madden Jinx. Of course. Uh, it goes back how many years now? It goes back to 2001, right? Yeah, I think it's four years now. With Eddie George? Yeah, yeah Eddie George, year. first person to be, uh, he was the first person to be on the box, and he... Uh, yeah, he, that, he got denied his 1,000-yard season, just all of a sudden his stats went. Yeah, he, he had a bad year. He wasn't hurt or anything, but he, did, he, he had a subpar year. And then Dante Culpepper, he gets hurt. Yeah. Marshall Falk gets hurt, and we all know what happened to Michael Vick last Vick, year. Yeah. So, uh, what yeah, are you we got doing? This year, and... Uh, we're definitely hoping Ray's going to break that jinx. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny whenever we hear about it because, you know, it, it gets our game some free pub. And, uh, um, you know, it's, it's, you know it's, it's funny to hear. And, uh, you know, obviously it's just a jinx. It's not real. And uh, mm. you know, I think it's something that the players get a kick out of. Has um, anyone ever turned down the cover because of it? No, definitely not. You know, it's, it's definitely an honor, I think, to be on that. And I think players treat it like, you know, like it's really an honor. They take it seriously. And, you know, the fact that they get hurt is, you know, is, is just part of the game. You know, the other thing that always interests me is how many songs you guys have broken. I play every year. End up hearing songs that becomes hits. Oh yeah, three, four, five months later. Yeah, we work. Uh, we have a music team here at EA that works with us, and you know they're working with all the labels as we're finishing up the game to to try to include songs that are going to break, uh, either just as the game's coming out or, or shortly after. And you know, last year we had several hits. This year we have uh, we have Alter Bridge, we have Green Day, we have you know lots of big name bands with songs that haven't even come out yet. And uh, you know, it's it's definitely cool to hear the music a few months early and. Uh, you know, we certainly hope everyone else, you know, likes to hear it as well. Uh, now, yeah, I mean, I was amazed that these songs go on to become hits. I know that you got to be working with some kind of an A&R guy who's in there. What's the uh, the Madden Challenge that you got on the national tour? What's happening there? Well, the Madden Challenge is a uh, series of tournaments we held we hold across the country. It starts on August 18th this year. Um, let me see. I believe you know we're, we're in the D.C. area. We're in D.C. on the 25th of September. Right at, at Union Station. Exactly, and and. Uh, we have a series of tournaments across the country. The winner of each of these tournaments gets to go to Vegas to compete in a Vegas, smaller man. tournament for a grand prize of $50,000. Last year was a huge success. We had, you know, thousands upon thousands of competitors. Um, the winner was a guy named Sandman, you know, who walked away with a $50,000 check, which is uh, pretty good for just playing a game of Madden. All right, this is also going to be uh, October 10th in Tampa at Raymond J Stadium. Uh, Dobbs, what about you and Sid signing up for this this year? I know Sid thinks he's good. I'm in. I'm, I, I, you think I, you're good enough to hit Vegas? Definitely. I, I hope you have some, some pretty good game because these guys are serious about the game. They're, they're actually guys that travel from location to location throughout the month just oh. to try to get a shot at Oh, Vegas. is that right? Yeah. All right. It yeah. is serious business. Yeah. What about the online stuff? The online stuff's pretty big. We have Xbox Live this year, which is the first year for, uh, yeah. for EA Sports. Um, you know, we're expecting our online community to grow because of that. We have lots of features with tournaments, and, and we just announced league support. So, you know, online features are huge, uh, real good community with fair play. You know, we try to make sure that the gamers out there aren't cheating each other and aren't using exploits to, to ruin the game for other people. So it's definitely a fun experience online. You just get, you get to see so much more talent. You're, if you get tired of playing the AI, you know, why not play a guy in California if you're on the East Coast? What I like to do is play the kids. When I'll find out yeah. I'm playing against an 8-year-old who's gone on it, you know, 4th and 20. I'll go call ahead, kid. I'll, I'll lay out. I enjoy that myself. Hey, you still going to have the classic teams on there? Yeah, we do have the classic teams. We yeah. added a few this year. We have a collector's uh, edition that we're releasing as well. Is that right? Um, and and it, it does contain a few more classic teams than the regular version. It has every single playoff team from the last 15 years since this is the, uh, this is officially the 15th year that Madden's been in existence. So... Um, classic teams are still there. We have even more on the class or in the you know in the collector's edition version. So 
definitely an important feature for us. Now, Fez, a bad year for you because the Bucks go back down to the way their standings were last year, yeah. playing that way. This That's year, you always wanted to grab the Bucks. Now they're going to be a nine and seven team, or what were they, seven and nine team? Seven and nine, so just right there in the middle of the pack. Garbage. Middle of the road, yeah. This this year, garbage. Uh, the the favorite teams are you know the Patriots. A lot of people. Uh, they were liking the Dolphins back at our office, but we had to get rid of Ricky Williams. And, oh, uh, that must have hurt. Uh, Portis, you know, Washington's very solid with Portis in the backfield. He's quick, and uh, if you like to run the ball, Portis is going to be your guy. Yes, I do. <laughs> I, I'm a guy who's go, I go helmet to helmet a lot, and I know it makes the kids angry. That's definitely my style, too. I like to run the clock. Uh, Phil Frazier, thank you very much. I honestly believe you're doing God's work. Oh, thank you. And uh, I can't think of a better game. It's my favorite game of all time. We well, hope you guys enjoy it. I will give out some more of these uh, next week as soon as they come out. We'll talk to you again soon, Phil. All right, man. Thank you. Take care, Thanks, buddy. Phil. Yeah, we ought to put our own uh, tournament together sometime this year and just go out one night. We'll get a bunch of guys and find out who the best is. And we can end up putting uh, Sid in it if he's out of jail then and Dubs. <laughs> I had the feeling Sid wouldn't make it, you know, in a two-man tournament. Uh, Dubs, what's your chick think about you constantly playing? Um, she gets very annoyed with it because I, I come home and, yeah. and I, I'll play till like 3 or 4 a.m. You, you tell her it's stress reduction? Yeah. That's my thing, though. I tell, her, I tell her it's the only time I can just sit there and not think about anything. I know as they do this, when if you, they hate it when you give them the shh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to listen. Right now I'm trying to listen. Or just the one finger up. Yeah. One second. How, how, uh, you know what? I should have made it, brought this up to him. What, uh, the only problem with the game is that Madden keeps doing the same dumb lines over and over. Actually, this year they said they added a lot more lines. They're going to have to. That. Be because it, it used to be real bad, like when, uh, when they were on Sega and everything, that it would be the same exact lines over and over again for every situation, like it was fourth and one. He'd be saying, like, if you go for it, I can't believe he's going to do it. I wonder what's going to happen when Madden dies. I wonder if they'll... Uh, yeah, whose name would you put on it? No, they'll leave it as Madden, because that's a brand now. But then they'll have to bring somebody else to do the voice. Because they go with Madden no matter what league he has to be in. You know, they right. stay, you know, yeah. they uh, moved over to ABC with him, and now... Uh, Al Michaels is doing the play-by-play. -play. And they say they work hard on that. They have to go in there, and he has to call every possible play that could happen. I, every possible score. That seems like it would just take forever to go through every possible scenario that could happen. They pay him uh, huge money, from what I understand. Gigantic money. Ah, oh, man, I can't wait. When, when is this coming out, Dubs? Um, if you get in that early, you can get in on Monday, but uh, most places will either have it Tuesday or Thursday. I'll get it on Monday. Steve, you're on my Fez. Hi, uh, Ron. How are you doing? I wanted a question. Maybe you could answer it. I yeah. would have hoped to have uh, talked to the guy from EA. Yeah. Do you know whether in this Madden setup, whether you can select any two teams that you want and have them just play themselves? That is, while you walk around the room and yeah. back and look you at it. Yeah, you can do it. that. You can. Yeah. Okay, because you can do that with their baseball setups, and it's the way I use it. I, I just use it as though it was a baseball game taking place on my computer. And you, know? you just look over every once in a while and see yeah. what the game's up, though? Exactly. I've, I've always wanted to sit there with a friend and just take bets on who's going to win. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm not kidding. Miles used to go to sleep that way. He would just put it on having them playing the game and drift off like he was watching a game on TV. So there's no doubt about it, but this, this game has that function. Yeah. Super. Thank you. All right, say, but you might want to play it yourself. It's one of the... You know, fun things. That sounds perfect for me and my carpal tunnel syndrome. Is that why you don't play games? You know, I tried play. I like. I, I played. Uh, tried playing the NHL game years ago, and my thumbs, my wrist, and my thumbs hurt so bad. I, you know, I was like all cramped up on this, and I mean, minutes into it. You know, I mean, it's one thing. I know that you're not in good enough shape to play sports. You're not in good enough shape to play a video game. Fez, you've got to take a look at your life. You're falling apart. I am stuck. I'm falling <laughs> apart from the digits on up. You got to work those things. Double Does everyone go through yes, that? We work through it. That's your training camp days. You should be sitting there working training camp until you st until your thumbs start to feel better. Then you move up into preseason. Yeah, you play through the pain. All yeah. right. Well, maybe I'll try. I didn't think everyone was going through that. I thought all I, right, my deformed little popcorn shrimp thumbs just aren't working for this. All right, Bobo thinks that's that form of lagidaria that they oh. believe you have. Oh, yeah, my fungalagia or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. So many people are writing to me that you definitely have that. 
Really? I'm going to ask the doctor about that. <laughs> Your doctor? Dr. Vinny Bombatis, <laughs> that crazy bastard. Let me ask I'm going to ask one of my doctors when about it. I see what your doctors put you through. By the way, you're a million times better tonight. You feeling better? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, feel, I definitely feel better. I would go see your doctor with you and talk to him. I'm afraid of looking at the little shrunken head that he carries around because you're going to a witch doctor. He is not a witch doctor. He is not. Did he say ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah? <laughs> yeah. Is his name Papa Shango? <laughs> I wish. Papa Shango, I would go to in a heartbeat. I got no problem with that. What are you saying, Doctor Giggles? Maybe I just need one of the like those cortisone shots just up near my wrist before I try to play. My li my wrists are just too limp to be able to do those things. Limp wrist. I, I can't pull it off. So tonight you want to be the gay guy. And I never, I can never keep up. I some nights it seems like you're mad at me if I please. And tonight you're like, please open the door and all the jokes are open. Tommy Bateman and I don't know where to go with you anymore. Tommy Bateman hasn't been back in here since he gave you that shot and ran out the other day. I've noticed that, and I, there's no discussion in the hallways either. No, mm, nothing, huh? No. Nope. All right, we got to take a break here, Fezzi. Uh, we'll be back in uh, just a few moments. Next week, we'll give out those uh, those mads, right? Yeah. Hey, how young did that guy sound? Like 28 and all he does is work on a video game? That's got to be the greatest job of all time. He's Are having you? a good time going to work. But you brought up a good thing about Ricky Williams. They worked so hard to make the, the Ricky Williams perfect. Then they got to go back in and yank it out of there. Yeah, and just hit the button and say no more, and try to and try to make you know whoever their backup is, you know, the star of the game. No, you don't make that them, team. No, you do. You don't make them the star. They just do go. Is that? No, they come in exactly the way that they are. That's all. You play exactly the way that they are. So suddenly, like if you're going to use a player who's uh, doesn't have speed, he doesn't get speed in that game. That's what he's saying. A lot of the players complain about. So you really shouldn't be able to play. Although with Michael Vick, I can make sure that I run for 100 and throw for 400 all the time. Another thing they're doing this year with that game is uh, the the uh, players are more, uh, they they have their own personalities. So if you don't give them enough touches, they'll start crying to the newspaper and then they'll want to be traded and all this kind of stuff. Oh, that would be perfect for Keyshawn. Yeah. Yeah. That'll, be, that'll, be, that'll work out great when Vinny's throwing to him. Our just on the end of feedback. Fez looking for another ski ball challenge? I hear Christopher Reeves is in town. <laughs> ski ball I can play, my friend. You got the you got a ski ball wrist. Ski ball I can do it. You, did you play pinball when you were younger or anything? Yeah, I played pinball. It didn't hurt then. Yeah, you got the fiddle I go. That's what you got. <laughs> That's your problem, buddy. All right, we're gonna take a break. I got all the I goes. Uh we'll be right back in just a few moments. It's the Ron Fez show. <laughs> 